Welcome to this video, playing the French defense. <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the guy, and he, uh, he uh, offers it. I don't comply. Let's um, see what he's doing here in the in the Dutch. Playing it in, in a Nimzo, Nimzo Indian fashion. Okay. I don't I don't want the, the double pawn, so play it like that. But, uh, now try to establish wow. Hmm. That's very uncommon. As the bishop is normally going to b7. Okay, maybe I can quickly try to expose the, white, uh, the the light squares. Okay. In fact, I can. All right, so he's playing this uh, very quickly, and uh, and this is this is just very bad for black. The light squares now are are a total catastrophe, and I will try to exploit this with with a later f4 i wonder hmm, 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 i can i can start with this and then uh, h3 and f4 hmm, 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 yeah i can start with h3 okay he does not want knight f5 i i guess but that's not the end of it. Also, he also has some other other weaknesses. Um, let's see what is the best way to do this. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's let's um, do it. In a simple fashion, attacking a four, and well, now he just gives me the pawn, right? So I'm, I bet he couldn't really prevent that. No? Yeah, okay. Do not, don't ask twice. Just take it. And he still has this pretty dreadful bishop on on e seven. Yeah, e4, that's, that's a square that the knight definitely wants to be on. Um, what is the plan? Hmm, I can go for, for f4 or just try to improve here. Yeah, maybe I can still try to improve here yeah, a bit. The knight on b5 to keep c7 under pressure possible idea is queen c3 and a later f4 so g3 later f4 hmm. not sure how much this this is really uh, really netting me let's let's uh, improve this a bit you could argue that a3 b4 is more more according to the position but the a pawn is already a passer so i don't mind to just fortify this a bit and then go then go from there um hmm, how exactly yeah still i'd like to get an f4 if possible just Queen d3, king h2, g3, and then f4. Ah, okay. This is what he was at. Okay, so I don't mind to have the d5 square in addition. Yeah, all that. Okay. Um, need to take and uh, yeah probably probably just take that hmm yeah that's nice e4 is very nicely 
blocking this. It's probably trying to get some counterplay with um, rook to b8. Okay, maybe let's let's regroup to c4 and attack the e pawn. Yeah, I again managed to be much down on the clock. Mm, yeah, it looks very solid for white. Don't uh, don't really see much counterplay coming. E five is is weak. I just try to uh, to keep keep the weaknesses on the board. <laughs> Take here. Yeah, I can play rook b1. Yeah, I'm I'm just just very slow. Must uh, must play faster. Taking one e5 is not a good idea due to due to this uh, this possible pin. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if I have some some other, Time warning. other way to set up my pieces here. It's not uh, totally easy here. Yeah? Knight to g4 maybe. Yeah, maybe I can. I should probably get get out of this this bloody diagonal. My back rank, my back rank is an issue. Yeah, still has his own his uh, own king position is uh, is very weakened. I'm going to sack the exchange Check. to break through him. Let's see. Should be very, check. Very difficult to uh, to um, to defend. Knight f6 is a huge threat. Oh, it's not. Check. Not reacting to it at all. I mean, maybe he had no defense. Check. Check. Just the simplest possible method. I just now need to push my pawns. Black resigns. Uh, it, uh, okay, this is this should win, but it's not so, not so so easy with the with the time, the time deficit. He uh, basically got into trouble right in the opening. I mean, this is frankly just not playable. You cannot play that here. In this in this situation, you you are deadly weak on the light squares. I have a bad bishop on e7. And this is really a bit too much to um, to stand. And um, yeah. it's uh, very very difficult for for um, black to 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 play this position. I have many uh, possibilities. I can also um, play b3 or something like that. Try to pre prepare b4 in the long run but i didn't i didn't mind those those moves much yeah and here he's just just giving away the pawn basically took me a while to recognize that but okay now i'm just the pawn up plus this always this knight against the stupid bishop on h4 so 
it's a very uh, very nice position. Uh, maybe here somewhere I can play more precise. Rook d1. Yeah, those little things. This is this is even stronger. If he goes d5 now, I can just play it like this. And something like this with with one pair of rooks exchanged, this this gets quite easy to play. Like like f3. Oops f3, rook d1, rook d5. I'm just using all the light squares and then wait. Okay, well, what, what I did is uh, also very good, but it's not that convincing in comparison. Oh, knight e3 would have been good. Okay, I was just too busy trying to figure out a position where he has no counterplay. But um, really, I, I just, I keep my my winning position knight takes e5 okay but this is certainly good yeah check it also is a win yeah there were a bit better some better squares but this is ugh. this is um just just fantastic for white i will pick up the whole this, this old pawns and uh and still have a big attack and uh, well check. this is lost lost right away check. but it's um it's really not much that he could do about this. The the whole opening is the problem. E5 is is, is a strange move. I mean you just play bishop b7 here and continue. Like uh, just like this. And nothing nothing particularly bad is going to happen. Uh, if I go here, then you maybe can consider this. With the knight losing a ton of moves, but uh, I probably play this something like that would be a normal uh, course of uh, of development. Okay, thanks for watching.